days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. Hey, I'm glad you had an opportunity to come and listen to the uh, Christian revelation. I call it Christian nuggets, meaning let's give a nugget. Let's give a, let's take a, uh, some of the things that God reveals us in the Bible study uh, and, and I welcome and encourage you to listen to the Bible study and subscribe to our channel and, and take the revelation and, and go over that. And I try to do this, these nuggets, these, these revelations, and it'll be no more than five to uh, eight minutes is, is what I want to say. It's a target area. I know you have a busy life, and, and this forum, we're going to go with, we'll just milk the Word of God uh, with a short period of time, and we'll just keep working on segments each and every time. Amen? So anyway, the Great Commission, chapter, uh, Mark chapter 16, is the one I focus on. And if further I read that to you, then I'll just go ahead and, and talk about the revelation I got out of it. So first of all, verse 14, and, and Mark 16, side of verse 14. Afterward he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat, and abraded them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them to believe. In my name they shall cast out devils, they shall speak with the tongue, they shall take up serpents, and they shall drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall. Recover. So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received unto heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord worked with them and confirmed the word with signs following them. One of the, the revelations that got out of person is the fact that this title, and most of you who turn your mind and will stay in the same, the Great Commission. But <laughs> verse 14. Is, is giving us some instructions before you go and preach the gospel. First of all, it's for all of us to have that commission. The ministries, the churches, the that you go to, is to equip you to do the work of the ministry. The work of the ministry will preach the gospel. You, you know, I know what I'm saying, when the pastor was preaching all about you, you go preach the gospel. And by fact, don't just preach it, live it. And you understand, if you live it and, and live it in love and understand your grace that follows you, it'll be okay. All right? But say this, show yourself approved before you go. And one of the things is an instruction Jesus gave them, I just wanted to make sure you understand too. Jesus uh, uh, rebuked them because they had unbelief and hardness of heart. That's what that verse 14 said. He abraded them because of the unbelief and hardness of heart, because the people didn't believe. They didn't believe that Jesus was risen by the testimony of those who seen him after he was risen. Why? Because of unbelief and the heart of heart. They were just, just rejecting that. And that's what happened in a lot of cases when you go minister the gospel on the people. A, you did not unbelief. B, you did not heart of heart. Heart of heart is to be with many things, the unbeginning of name. But God has said is, you, as you go preach the gospel, you're going to have to work with any unbelief you have. You don't have to work with any hardness of heart, any forgiveness, any of that that you need to be working with. Then, what I like about the fact is that you, once you do that, you go and preach the, the gospel into the world, to your life, your world. The whole world was receiving the gospel, but your body is your world. Your world is how far you go, how what you have put to go out into this world. But go, your home, your job, your, your, your city, your town, your state, your life is to preach this gospel everywhere you go. And what I like about this, it is a blessing to be able to lay hands on the sick and recover. Believe that and, and trust in the Lord. But here's how it goes with that. This is a piece I like in verse 20. They went forth. Go forth. Do what you have to do. Do what God calls you to do. And 
I like this piece right here. If the Lord working with them, God said, I'm going to leave you to forsake you. So you go preach this God, but God is with you. He's not going to leave you. He's not going to forsake you. He's working with you. That's, you want, if somebody want to work with you, that's the Lord. Let the Lord work with you. And then I like this verse. Then he confirmed the word of God with signs following. The word you preach is the word that comes out of the Bible, the revelation God gives you, and then the, the, the responsibility of confirming that word is the Lord. And he will confirm the signs. And you'll be amazed the fact that some people have heard from God. Many people, even yourself, is hearing from God. And sometimes you, you go to a, a message or, or, you, or somebody speaking, and they're confirming something God is saying about Say something to you about. So God will confirm the word. You just go preach the word. And most like that, like I said, is live the word. And when I say live the word, is love one another. Love your fellow man. That's what love. Amen. So I hope you enjoyed this nugget. You know, this is very quick. But it's, it's to go straight to the point. Get a word. And you go ahead and try to milk that word in a short time that you have. But I want you to uh, enjoy it, read it yourself, and understand. The Lord will never leave you or forsake you. He's confirming the word with signs. You just go and preach it. Amen. All right. And don't forget, get rid of that unbelieving part of his heart. That's not easy, but that's what you need to do. Amen. All right. I'll see you next time. And I hope you enjoy these nuggets that we're sending out. I'm, I think it's worth doing. And I think it gives you enough time to deal with your business schedule to uh, build a little nugget and do the best you can with it. Amen. All right, we'll try to do more of these and uh, we'll see how they go. All right, God bless you. And for this one, I wish you a happy new year in 2021. The day is the 29th of December. Happy new year coming up. Amen. Bye. Be blessed.